Today we have an exciting tutorial in store for you. We'll be diving into the world of comic book effects in Photoshop. Open Photoshop and select an image or illustration. Right click on it and choose Convert to Smart Object to create a mask. To bring out the details in the shadows, go to the Shadows and Highlights adjustment and increase the shadows all the way up. Right click on the Smart Object mask and delete it as it is no longer needed. To smooth out the image, Go to the Camera Raw filter and turn the noise reduction all the way up and the detail all the way down. If you want an even smoother effect, apply the Camera Raw filter again, and this time use the Saturation slider to remove all the color. Use the Oil Paint filter to further smooth out the image. Increase the settings all the way up, even if it makes the details look weird. Apply a Threshold adjustment to find a good point for the darkest blacks in the image. Duplicate the layer two times. Rename the top one lines, the middle one gray, and the bottom one black. Turn off the lines layer for now. Double click on the threshold effect on the gray layer and adjust it to bring more of the midpoint. Import a grungy halftone pattern and place it directly above the gray layer. Scale it to cover the whole image. Alt or Option click between the layers to create a clipping mask. Set the halftone layer to screen mode and the gray layer to multiply mode. Turn on the lines layer, turn off the threshold effect for now and delete the oil paint effect. Apply the high pass effect with a radius of two on the lines layer. Drag the high pass effect under the threshold effect. Turn the threshold back on. Double click on the threshold effect and adjust it until you get the desired lines and lose the weird stuff. Set the lines layer to multiply mode. Select all layers and create a folder. Create a new folder called Color and set the folder blending mode to Multiply. Command or Control click on one of the artwork layers to make a selection. Create a mask for the Color folder using the selection. Inside the Color folder, create a solid color layer. Paint back in where you want the color to appear. Repeat the last step to create additional solid color layers for different colors in your comic book artwork. Import vector elements and place them in your image. Apply a black stroke effect and a white drop shadow to the artwork. Add a gradient layer to give the background some color. Place a grungy texture on top of your image and set it to screen mode. Add text to your image and apply a drop shadow and stroke effect to the text. Save your final comic book image and have fun with your creation. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and learn more about DTF printing.